we are looking at what we call currency exchange rates. Currency exchange rates. They are normally tested in exams. Let us go through this one and then you go and practice. Hi, number one. A Kenyan bank buys and sells foreign currency as shown below. A Kenyan bank buys and sells foreign currencies as shown below in this table. So you have one sterling pound buying in Kenya shillings, 135.50, uh, selling in Kenya shillings, 135.97 in Kenya shillings. One US dollar buying in Kenya shillings is 72.23, and selling in Kenya shillings is 72.65. Lana, we have a question here. We are told that a tourist arrived in Kenya with 5,000 US dollars. He arrived in Kenya with 5,000 US dollars, which he converted, which he converted to Kenya shillings upon arrival. He spent uh, 214,500 Kenya shillings after converting. He spent this amount and converted the remaining, so there was some remaining, he converted the remaining Kenya shillings into sterling pounds. How many sterling pounds did he receive? How many sterling pounds did he receive? Lana, we go to the first sentence. A tourist arrived in Kenya with 5,000 US dollars, which he converted to Kenya shillings upon arrival. He converted this foreign currency into Kenya shillings. He went to the bank to convert this foreign currency into Kenya shillings. What will the bank do? Will it buy or sell? There is a formula here, Lana. I'm sure you have come across this. We talk of if you want to convert foreign into Kenya shillings. Foreign, let me use capital F for foreign, into Kenya shillings, like that. If you want to convert a foreign currency into Kenya shillings, what does the bank do? What does the bank do? It buys. We write a capital B. The bank buys. We call it FKB. Some people call it, you know, these are acronyms that help us to remember what, what I mean, how to handle the problems. Some people call it for K. Boo. For cable. Some people call it for cable. Foreign converting them to Kenya shillings, the bank buys, or FKB, whichever you find easier. And therefore, let us convert these 5,000 US dollars into Kenya shillings. So we go to this row here for US dollars. We say one US dollar, Lana. One US dollar, the bank will buy it at what? We go to the buying column. One US dollar, the bank buys, FKB buys at Kenya shillings 72.23. Yes, it buys it at that. Therefore, what about 5,000? U.S. dollars, 5,000 U.S. dollars, Lana. You multiply 5,000 times 72.23. What will you get? How many Kenya shillings are these? If you multiply that out, you get 361,000, uh, then 150. 150. 
So he has he now has the what? Uh, the money in the Kenya shillings. Then we are told that he spent he spent Kenya shillings two hundred and fourteen two hundred and fourteen thousand five hundred and converted the remaining into sterling pounds. When he was in Kenya, he spent shillings two hundred and fourteen thousand. Sorry, two hundred and let me write it nicely. He spent shillings two hundred and fourteen thousand and five hundred. And so, what is the remaining amount of money in Kenya shillings? What is the remaining? What do you do? You subtract. Get the remaining, you subtract. If you subtract that lana, you would get what? Kenya shillings. The remaining is Kenya shillings, 146,650. And therefore, this is the money that he now converted to sterling pounds. This is the Kenya shillings that he converted to sterling pounds. So how did he convert these Kenya shillings into sterling pounds? Lana, another formula here. If you have Kenya shillings and you want to convert them into foreign currencies, the bank does what? The bank sells. We call it KFS. We call it KFS. Other people call it K for se. An acronym, K for se. Kenya foreign the bank sales or KFS. Again, whichever that you find easier, you can use it. And therefore, let us convert this into sterling pounds. Kenya shillings into sterling pounds. Kenya shillings into sterling pounds. We go to a sterling pound. One sterling pound, Lana. One sterling pound. One sterling pound. The bank sells it, uh, sells it at what? One sterling pound. You go to the selling column. KFA selling column. The bank sells it at uh, 135.97. Now, what about 146,650 Kenya shillings? The equivalent to how many sterling pounds? So, how many sterling pounds, therefore, would be equivalent to Kenya shillings? 146,650 lana. What do you do? You just cross multiply like that and you divide by 135.97. Cross multiply. So you talk of 146, 650, and then you divide by 135.97. Uh, so if you work this out, Lana, you should get about 1078.55 sterling pounds. Sterling Good. So that is the answer. So learn. The most important thing when you come to these problems to do with exchange rates is to know the formula. KFB, foreign converting into Kenyan shillings, the bank buys or for cable, for cable. Uh -huh. If you have Kenyan shillings and they are to be converted into foreign currency, the bank, that's what the bank sells. KFS or Kifosi. Kifosi. And therefore, with that learner, go and do more practice. I wish you all the best. Bye bye.